So yesterday there was a game in the NBA between the Chicago Bulls and the Detroit Pistons. I backed the Bulls and I put a lot of money on them because I saw a riddle involving Michael Jordan, arguably the greatest of all time in basketball. He won six championships with the Bulls. He also was involved in a big rivalry with the Detroit Pistons. So I expected this game to be close, but for Chicago to prevail on Michael Jordan's birthday. So he turned 58, but his name in Gematria equals 59 in full reduction. And I saw that if the Bulls beat Detroit, they would advance to a home record of five and nine, which is five wins and nine losses. And that's what happened. And 59 is the 17th prime, and the game in Michael Jordan's birthday was on the 17th of February. Also, Chicago Bulls came into this game with a home record of four and nine, and Chicago Bulls equals 49. This is how rigged it all is by the numbers. I also saw if Detroit lost, they would advance to an away record of 2 and 12, 2 wins and 12 losses. Chicago Bulls equals 212. And also, I saw that the Bulls could advance to 7 and 7 in the conference if they beat the Pistons, and Pistons equals 77. So it was a perfect riddle. It came in. I also won a ton of money in play as well, because if you look at this at half time, the Bulls were getting absolutely destroyed. They only had 43 points in the first half, which is outrageous. Okay, it was 61-43. I decided to back the Bulls because I believed in my riddle. They overcome the biggest deficit of the season to win. Notice how there was 207 points scored in this game. In Chicago Bulls' 27th game. I always talk about this word because this goes on every day in sports. Ritual equals 27. 207 points scored in the game in Chicago Bulls' 27th game of the season. Are you kidding me? Also, check this out, just how ridiculous this all is. So yesterday, the Portland Trailblazers, they won, and they won with 126 points. Look what happens when you type it. Portland... Failed Blazers. One, two, six. How many points did they get yesterday? One, two, six. This is how disgustingly scripted this all is. And look, talk about the 27s. See how the Bulls got 27 points in the third quarter and absolutely destroyed the Pistons, who went from being incredible to only being able to get 12 points in the third quarter, 35, 26 down to 12. Are you kidding me? This is why betting in play is the way. Look here, Chicago comes back from 25 points down to earn 105, 102 victory. Don't get taken in by this. Yeah, it wasn't a surprise, was it? It wasn't a surprise because it's all scripted. There was no way the Bulls were going to lose on Michael Jordan's birthday against the Pistons, especially with all these riddles behind them. So, yeah, also I saw this more decode. If Chicago win, they will get their 12th win and dropped Detroit to 12 losses. That's what happened. Um, they dropped to 12 losses away, and they got their 12th total win of the season. And Chicago equals 37, Detroit equals 37, and 37 is the 12th prime. A couple of people got on them in play, which I'm really happy with. Mohammed did a great job, a couple of other people. So there you have it, guys. There you have it. Once again, evidence to prove to you that professional sports are completely rigged by the numbers.